When one grows old and the partner is gone, as we age and our partners are no longer with us, please put aside your pride and actively rely on those around you. The writer Zhang Xiaoxian once said that life is ultimately a journey taken alone. Only by learning to rely on oneself can one go further. Have you ever thought about how you will spend your remaining years when your partner is gone and your children have established their own families? Many elderly people are facing such situations. They cannot adapt to the days without their partners and are unwilling to live with their children. Thus, they bear the burden alone, leading a life of loneliness and dependency. In old age, as children establish their own families and one enters a period of emptiness, if there is no intimate companion, you can still actively rely on others to make your later years more fulfilling. This reliance is not about becoming a burden, but rather a mutual emotional support. Learning to depend on others can make our old age happier and more enriching. Old age and unchanging emotions. Time ages us and emotions remain unchanged as we age alongside our children. Time is a butcher's knife, relentlessly pushing us towards old age. Grandpa Lee often laments this. He and Grandma Wong weathered over half a century of ups and downs together. Now, with Grandma Wong gone, Grandpa Lee wanders alone in this world. Whenever the future is mentioned, Grandpa Lee seems a bit lost. In old age, children are busy. I feel so empty at home alone. But Grandpa Lee knows he is not alone. His children, eldest son Li Ming and youngest daughter Li Ting, are his most steadfast support. Although they each have busy jobs and families, they always come home on weekends or holidays to visit him. Li Ming accompanies his father for chess and tea, chatting about recent events. Li Ting helps with household chores and prepares a sumptuous dinner. At these times, Grandpa Lee's face always lights up with a happy smile. He knows his children face pressure too, but they never complain. They understand that filial piety is not only a responsibility, but also an emotional inheritance. They are willing to support their father because they know it is their duty. Neighborhood affection. In addition to his children, Grandpa Lee has another important support. His neighbor, Aunt Zhang. Aunt Zhang is a warm-hearted person who takes good care of Grandpa Lee. Whenever he needs help, she's always the first to appear. Once, when Grandpa Lee accidentally fell, Aunt Zhang not only called an ambulance but also stayed by his side until his children arrived at the hospital. The friendship between Grandpa Lee and Aunt Zhang is more than just neighborhood assistance. It is a source of spiritual comfort. They often walk and chat together sharing each other's joys and sorrows. With Aunt Zhang's company, Grandpa Lee feels the warmth and beauty of life, reuniting with old friends. Apart from Aunt Zhang, Grandpa Lee has a group of like-minded old friends. They include retired teachers, former colleagues, and longtime chess partners. They often gather to enjoy tea, admire flowers, play chess, and chat. In each other's company, they have spent many happy times together. Among these old friends, Grandpa Lee treasures his chess buddy, Old Wong, the most. They met in their youth and spent countless days and nights together at the chessboard. Though they are now quite old, their friendship has only deepened. Whenever Grandpa Lee encounters troubles or is unhappy, Old Wong is always there to patiently advise and accompany him. Through their friendship, Grandpa Lee experiences the true meaning and beauty of life. Aging like a song. Life is like a song, and aging is like a dream. On the day we grow old, we may feel lonely and helpless. But as long as we learn to rely on those who accompany us through life's journey, whether they are children, neighbors, or friends, we will not feel alone or lost. Their presence is the most precious wealth and support in our lives. Facing loneliness with courage and relying on others. From Grandpa Lee's story, we can see that happiness in old age depends not only on one's independence, but also on learning to rely on family and friends. When our partners are gone, who can we rely on? The following four people might be our best options. 1. Relying on children. There is an old saying, 
raise children to protect against old age, which is not an empty talk. In old age, children with filial piety can provide a good life. Some elderly people, however, do not expect their children to support them, fearing that they will burden them. But the fact that they raise their children cannot be changed. When the time comes to rely on them, it is necessary to do so. Especially after a partner has passed away, it is easy to fall into loneliness. If you insist on being strong alone, you might end up living a miserable old age, which can be hard to change later. 2. Relying on neighbors. If, after losing a partner, you do not have children or they cannot take care of you, you must maintain good relations with neighbors. This is not about relying on neighbors unilaterally, but about mutual support. Avoid becoming overly familiar or distant with them. In case of emergencies, neighbors can provide timely help. Interaction with neighbors should not be limited to visits. You can also stay in touch via phone or go for walks in the park or shopping together. Good neighbors are better than distant relatives. 3. Relying on oneself. Relying on oneself is often better than relying on others. Always depend on yourself and make yourself strong. While you may not be able to live like a whole team, you should at least shield yourself from the storms of life. Maintain your health, which is the foundation of well-being. Even while striving in youth, take care of your body to ensure good health in old age, minimizing suffering from illness. Learn to adjust your health and enjoy life's every day, making the most of its meaning. Learn to be alone, ensuring your space is safe and equipped for emergencies. Adjust your mindset to face life calmly after the sudden loss of a partner. 4. Relying on caregivers. Caregivers, who work for money, will provide you with adequate care. A common saying is, for the sake of money. As caregivers support themselves through labor, they also offer care to the elderly. When affection becomes a financial transaction, many elderly people may feel uncomfortable, believing that paying should guarantee complete obedience. The quality of a caregiver often relates to both the payment and your attitude. Wise, elderly people greet caregivers with smiles and gratitude. Through interactions of both money and emotion, caregivers can become like family. Therefore, an elderly person must have money to live well after losing a partner. If you lack funds, discuss support with your children and do not let pride prevent you from facing financial difficulties. Choosing the best living arrangement. A 78-year-old man shared his experiences of living with his son and in a nursing home. He found that relying on children and staying in a nursing home both have their pros and cons. Ultimately, he believed that returning to his own home and hiring a caregiver was the best arrangement for old age. In conclusion, taking care of oneself and relying on family, friends, or caregivers can make old age more fulfilling and comfortable. Cherishing these emotional connections and supports is vital. Thank you for reading. If you haven't subscribed yet, don't forget to click subscribe so we can accompany you daily. Let's grow, find happiness, and age gracefully together. See you next time.